Well, this is it. What could very well be the last video on my channel? I spoke before very briefly about the FTC and CAPA thing, and I never fully explained what was going on, and nor do I want to make a video entirely just on that subject. I will give out a brief, s brief summary for those of you who don't know, but I'm not going to do that right now. I honestly don't know how I'm going to lay this video out. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I actually considered making a script, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to make a script. This is my final video, and I wanted to do it. A completely honest way. I mean, I've always been honest in my videos. I've never made scripts in any of them. And I thought I would keep to that. I would stick to that. Even in this last video. But unfortunately, this is not a happy video. I can. I honestly wish it was. And I honestly wish that I was joking about all of this. But I'm not. Uh, I'm sure some of you have heard by now that the FTC, FTC is enforcing the law upon YouTube. I'm not going in going to go into too much detail, but basically, creators are in danger. And the FTC's law is extremely vague. Basically, they're wanting to protect children, which is totally fine. That seems reasonable. But they're not just blaming YouTube. I mean, it is YouTube's fault. YouTube definitely screwed up. And YouTube also f threw us under the bus. Now, I don't know if this law just affects people who are monetized or if this literally affects all creators on YouTube. I'm not monetized by YouTube. And so this law could really I mean it could wipe out families small businesses in fact and it could wipe out just regular people like me who just make videos don't even get paid for it but they enjoy doing it I enjoy doing it and while I can honestly say that I wish that YouTube was my job it never became that because I mean, number one, YouTube never really accepted me, and I mean, YouTube has kind of gone to the point where it just wants to ignore all the you parts of YouTube. And see, that's that's that was what was supposed to be the whole point of YouTube was to broadcast yourself, and now it's to the point where. Nobody can really create anything anymore because <coughs> they're all put on the back burner immediately. Nobody gets a chance anymore. I never got a chance. And I'm not going to sit here and complain like, oh, I wish my life b was better because I'm not the only one. Lots of people have gone through it, and there's plenty of people who have probably had it worse than me. But... Now, 
now it's to the point where we don't even get a chance anymore. That chance, if if we even had one, is gone. And even big YouTubers who have already made it, they are also at risk of being completely terminated. And not only that, but all creators on YouTube, they need to check their videos to say whether it is for kids or for adults. And if you get anything wrong, if you do anything wrong because the FTC and YouTube will immediately judge whether you say it's for adults or not, they will look at your video and they will judge whether it's for kids or adults. And if they think differently, you get to, you get fined forty two thousand dollars for every single video that you checked wrong on. That is absolutely ridiculous. Of all the punishments, that why that? Because us creators, we've never done anything wrong. YouTube screwed up. Admittedly, YouTube did screw up. But what have we as creators done to break the law in any way? We have not actually broken a single law. And on January 1st, this law will be enacted. Now, I don't know if this goes for videos after January 1st or videos that were made or, or just all videos overall. I have no idea. And that's what makes this terrifying. Now, when I said kids content, when I was talking about kids content, like videos that are made for kids, I mean, <laughs> you can... You can mark it as something that is meant for adults, but if you have any, any products for kids, any characters that kids like, I music that kids like, show off celebrities that kids like, have flashy thumbnails or something, you, you name it. That is what the YouTube and FTC seems to be after, which is so vague. Because adults like that stuff too. Adults can watch the same stuff. And even if you mark it for just adults, the FTC and YouTube will disagree with you and fine you $42,000. And I know people who don't even have $42,000. And they're going to get fined. because <laughs> Just because they didn't mark it right. And they didn't really even do anything wrong... You don't have to do anything wrong in your video. You could just, I don't know, be playing a game that would be that would be considered violent. But at the, at the same time, you played like Minecraft or something. Minecraft is something that kids would like. But then you go and play another game like Call of Duty, and then well, you get fined for something like that. Now I could be completely wrong, but I'm just taking what I've heard. And putting it into this video. And if I'm wrong, then fine. But I need, I'm trying to think of this in the worst possible case scenario. Because we need to think of this very seriously. $42,000 is no small fee. And while there are YouTubes who YouTubers who can probably afford that. Every single video. If they get fined for every single video, $42,000, all that money that they have earned over the years, gone. And that has destroyed their channel. Not only that, but their channel could be termina terminated, as I said before. God. <laughs> like I said, I wish, I wish this was all a joke. I really do. So... This may just be my last video because 
I don't know if I can really chant it anymore because, like, <laughs> if I fall in that category of people who are at risk, then I can't chant it because I don't have that kind of money to pay off a screw-up like that. That's not even just a screw-up. That's something big. And this ain't like YouTube threatening us in any way. No, this is the government. This is 100%. This will happen to you. Now, while I say that I talk about a lot of this stuff here in this video, but like I said, none of us actually really know what's actually going to happen 100%. And that's probably the scariest part about this, is that it's entirely vague. And YouTube hasn't even told us the full thing. I was watching a few videos where even lawyers have talked about this, and they've found out that YouTube hasn't even been telling us the full story. See, you're, you, there are plenty of creators out there who don't necessarily make their videos for just kids, nor do they make it just for adults. They make it in that middle area where kids and adults can watch. But YouTube has decided to not give us that information. And the FTC told it, has, has it written in the uh, COPPA law that if you have videos that are made for kids and adults at the same time, you're, you're fine. You're not being affected by this. You're not targeting kids. You're not targeting any specific audience, so you are fine. But YouTube has a new thing where you have to check off whether it's for kids or for adults, and there's no middle line there to check off. Not only that, but if you do, if you do make kids content, you lose 90% of your revenue. Not only that, but there's no comment section. Uh, there's no, you, you, with, with the ring the bells, that's not going to work. People cannot be notified if you, um, if you release a video, um, Yeah, that's all I really, basically, it's just, it's going to be bad. I don't know how bad. Nobody really knows how bad it's going to be. But we need to prepare for the worst case scenario. The FTC is uh, taking comments on this. I have already submitted a comment to them. Now, don't, if anybody is planning on sending a comment to the FTC, you can go right ahead, but make sure it's well thought out. Do not leave some little hate comment or something. And there are plenty of, plenty of videos to get more information on this. You can even see like the, the conference. I'm not going to leave in the li any links on these because I don't see much of a point to it. So just look up FTC, COPPA, YouTube, or something like that. And you should find plenty of videos on it. They'll have all the links probably to be able to go to the site on their videos. I'm not going to because I, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to upload this because I want people to know what what's going on and where I'm going to be, which is not here. I'm not going to be here. If there does happen to be a new video sharing uh, platform that rises out of the darkness. I will probably be first in line to that. Maybe not first in line, but you know, I want to jump right onto that. Because if there's a new video sharing platform, that would be great. 
now there there are a few out there but they're not as big as youtube is but i feel like after this youtube might just sink and might be buried we might lose youtube but let's not look at this as complete negative maybe something else will come out and um might be even better than youtube it might they might actually uh you know they'll be there for their creators which is what we need that's exactly what we need is a platform who is going to be there for us because we've made plenty of content for youtube but a lot of us aren't as appreciated so this may be me signing off for the last time so I hope to see you guys in another video hopefully uh, as for music I'm still going to be pursuing that uh, just not going to be on YouTube it's gonna be somewhere else I don't know yet but I'm going to figure all that out. So this has been TB Wheeze. And uh, I'm out.